Taiwan has rolled out its AstraZeneca COVID vaccines, starting with Premier Su Zhenzang. The head of the executive yuan said he felt great after getting a shot in his left arm. Chen Wenjin, the superintendent of Linko's Tanggang Memorial Hospital, was also among those vaccinated on Monday. He said that hand washing and face masks are still important after vaccination, as it will take time for antibodies to develop. The first AZ vaccine administered in Taiwan went to Premier Su Monday morning. At 7.40 a.m., he and the health minister headed to National Taiwan University Hospital for their shots. I just got mine on my left arm. I don't feel any pain in the ejection area, and I don't feel any soreness in my body. I rested there for 30 minutes, and I feel great. Meanwhile, Taiwan's first medical worker to receive the vaccine was Shanghe Hospital Superintendent Wu Maisi. We've been getting vaccines all our lives. The world changes and new diseases emerge, so this is nothing special. We'll encounter many incidents like this in the future, so this is something we should all do. I work in emergency medicine, so I am frontline staff. The thing I fear the most is not getting sick myself, but spreading the disease in the community, infecting my family or other people in society. Even if you're careful and you put on masks and other protective gear, there is still some risk of infection. The superintendent of Linko's Changgung Memorial Hospital says that even after vaccination, people should still follow disease prevention protocols. It takes some time for antibodies to develop, and even after they appear, you still have to consider the current atmosphere. I think it's still necessary to wear a mask and wash your hands when you're out and about. Kaohsiung has received 8,000 vaccine doses to be administered by five hospitals. Ida Hospital says it will stagger vaccination for its staff. In case there are side effects, we can reduce the risk to our staff by giving everyone some time before moving on to the next group of people. We're planning to leave a week of time before vaccinating the second group of workers. Over in Taichung, six hospitals have received vaccines. As ordered by the central government, the first batch will go to frontline medical workers, who will be followed by the mayor and other government officials.